always serving a fresh cup of daily inspiration, Deanna Hobbs. Today's inspiration is to remind you that your circumstance is shifting. Welcome to another podcast. My name is Deanna Hobbs. I am founder of Empowering Everyday Women Ministries. Every day, Monday through Friday, through this podcast, it's a ministry assignment for me. I share inspiration from the word of the Lord as he leads me. And if you're here listening, I appreciate it. And I know that the Lord sent you here. So before we get into this inspiration, this encouragement. I want to pray with you right quick. God, I thank you so much for this time of sharing. Feed us today, I pray, with manna from heaven. You know what we need, and we know that there is a word from on high that is tailor-made for our specific needs and situation. So as this person listens, move in their spirit, move in their heart, allow them to feel your anointing penetrate them now. We give you glory and praise for speaking so clearly in Jesus' name. Amen. About 10 years ago, I was stepping out in faith and pursuing some things that I knew God had called me to do. And it was a challenge. I didn't have the resources. I didn't have the know-how or even the support I needed. So if you're there right now, trust me, I know where you are. But I did have a lot of faith. So there was this individual that re-entered my life at that time, whom I had known for years, but I hadn't seen them in a really long while. They offered to help me out in numerous ways, which was really exciting because they were able to do all these things I couldn't do at that time. This person had the finances, the legal team, network, and a willingness to invest in me. And I felt really inspired by it. So as the months went on, we really got down to business. We met with lawyers, signed paperwork, and set this process in motion. I felt excited that finally, Things in my life were taking shape and getting on track. God had favored me and sent someone to bless me, just me, you know. So when the day came to close this big deal that we had been working on, suddenly this person got cold feet. I mean, they pulled out of everything and told me in an email. They didn't call me. They told me in an email, I wish you the best, but... I don't feel this is right for me anymore. It was like a hard blow to the gut. I mean, that thing knocked the wind out of me. There was no way I could do any of what I was doing without them. In fact, there were specific avenues I went down and I wouldn't even have done it without their encouragement, their help, their support, or them opening that door. How could this person do this to me? I was wondering. I trusted them. I placed my confidence in them. I got my hopes up. Boy, did I cry. I cried hard. I mean, I wept so I could hardly breathe. Ever cry so hard you get congested? I literally had no idea what to do. I was messed up about it. Suddenly, things went from sweet to bitter in an instant. Has that ever happened in your life? It makes me think about the time when God used Moses to deliver the Hebrews from Egyptian slavery through the miraculous Red Sea crossing. The Bible says they immediately sent praises up for the deliverance. They were on cloud nine, right? In Exodus chapter 15 verses 1 through 21, we get this view of them lifting up a beautiful song of gratitude to God for delivering them, but their jubilation and grateful attitude was short lived because in verse 22 things turned bitter the Israelites entered into the desert of Shur and there for three days was no water no water the Bible says when they finally did come across water they couldn't even drink it you know why because it was bitter and that's why the place was called Mara which in Hebrew actually is the word for bitter they went from rejoicing over their deliverance and how God had made their lives better to sulking and murmuring and mourning about what was bitter. God's chosen people began grumbling and complaining and asking Moses, what are we going to drink? Have you ever come to a place in your life where for a moment things appear to be looking up, but then you just kind of hit a wall or some sort of setback? It looks like you took two steps forward and then three backward. Ever thought you had broken through? I mean, really? But then it all fell through. Whew, it's devastating. I can relate to that feeling. If this has happened, you know how quickly you can go from praising God for better and instead focusing on the bitter. But I don't want you to fall into that trap. Even in the midst of my own tears after that person devastated me, 
I had to thank God, even though I didn't understand it. And I had to believe that the Lord was going to do something even greater, even though I couldn't see it. First Thessalonians 5, 18 in the New International Version says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Praise through every phase and season with the assurance that the setbacks, the trials, the disappointments and negative situations are temporary. God will move. He did in my life. The Lord took me down a completely different path and blessed me in numerous ways that I didn't even think were possible. It didn't happen overnight, but he did send the resources, new connections, better doors my way. I just had to remain full of faith and confidence in his sovereign will knowing that his way is always best. God turned things around for Israel too. He shifted their circumstances. In Exodus 15 and 25, after things looked bleak with that bitter water, God did something. He ordered Moses' steps and showed him a piece of wood. And when Moses got that piece of wood and threw it in the water, the Bible says it went from bitter to sweet. That lets you know that God is able to turn your bitter defeats into sweet victories. Just try Trust him, remain faithful, obey his word, follow his leading, be grateful even before things change. Amen. Hold on to your faith that the struggle won't last always. Friend, God already has a plan to deliver you. That's why he led you to this podcast to let you know just that. Now, in verse 27, The final verse in this awesome chapter, I want to draw your attention to it. After Israel had suffered and thirsted, they came to a place called Elam. Here there were 12 fountains and 70 palm trees, and they were able to camp out near the water. Life got real sweet for them. They went from lack to abundance. See, God knew all along that their dry, bitter, hard place was temporary, and so is yours. He's shifting your circumstances. God has a good plan for your life. He's going to bring you out of this difficulty. He's going to lift you up out of this deep valley. But while you're waiting, instead of complaining about your present circumstance, begin rejoicing for your future breakthrough that's on the way. I don't know where you are or what you're believing for, but God does and he's sending you this message today. If you're trusting God for better while things around you seem to be getting worse, don't give in to discouragement. Walk through this trial trial, knowing that on the other side of this dry place, a new thing is waiting. A shift in your circumstances is coming. God is going to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask or think according to the power that's working in you. To encourage you, I'm stirring Isaiah 43, 19 in the New Living Translation into your cup of inspiration. And it says, for I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will He'll make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry waste land. As you drink down the contents of your cup, know this, God has more for you. He's making ways. He's raining down blessings from heaven. He's shifting your circumstances. If you're dealing with less than ideal situations, rejoice for the new thing that's on the way. Divine blessings and favor belong to you. Go ahead and praise in the middle of bitter Mara on your way to Elam, where showers of blessings will spring forth. You're coming out of this dry place. Now let's pray. God, I pray for this, my sister, this, my brother. You know their circumstance and situation, this unique valley that they're going through. The enemy wants them to slip into discouragement and depression. The enemy wants them to stop believing that you're going to make a way. But thank you for sending this word and empowering them to keep moving forward in faith. I praise you right now for their breakthrough. On their behalf, I give you glory. I connect my faith with theirs. We join our faith together for breakthrough and we praise you in advance for what's done. We believe it. We decree it. We declare it. We own it. It is so. It's done. In Jesus name. Amen. Your Daily Cup of Inspiration podcast has been brought to you by Empowering Everyday Women Ministries, where we help fuel your faith every day. For more information, log on to www.deannahobbs.com.